in this video tutorial uh, we will look that how can we create a contour map using arc map uh, in the previous lecture uh, tutorial uh, we look that uh, how can we create a contour map using point data but now we will create the same contour map for the different area uh, using the digital elevation model now here you can see that I have added the Bolo uh, shape file and I want to create a contour map for this particular area here you can see that this is the digital elevation model and the overlying layer is the shape file as I have downloaded the digital elevation model for this area now I will click here that extract by mask the extract by mask extract the area of interest from the whole tile or image you can save it anywhere where you want depending upon your requirements I am just saving it in the specified folder Okay. After a few seconds, the process will be completed and the area will be extracted. Here you can see that the tool has successfully run. This is the required area for which I want to create a contour map. Here you can see that this white uh, color shows us the highest peak in the digital elevation model just I will click here contour and uh, in the contour click special analyst drag and drop the digital elevation model of the area and uh, there you can give any uh, contour interval just check it This is the signed integer. These are the sources and property of uh, the file. The minimum value is this one and the maximum is this one for this particular uh, image. Keeping the base zero. You can change it. Just I will click here only the polygon. I just want to give uh, here the contour interval of uh, 50. Clicking OK. Now the process will be run and uh, the map uh, of contour will be created the contour lines for this specific area will be formed depending upon the elevation uh, that is in the raster uh, so the same uh, elevation will be joined with the, the, the lines that the, those lines are known as contours you can see here that the lines are generated and these lines depend upon the contour interval as the interval is much lower uh, the value between them is lower it will create uh, congested contour and uh, keeping the value difference more enough will create a clear and wider uh, contour lines now changing the value to 250 now you can see 
where the control lines are separated from each other. Coming towards the properties and uh, You can change the color of the contour lines and classify these lines according to the elevation. Here the uh, color is white so I want to change it to some other color. For example this is pink and clicking OK. You can also change these arranges manually I don't want to change these colors just click OK now you can see that the pink color shows the highest values and the blue color shows light blue color shows the lowest value is just changing the color to yellow now you can see that the contour map has been generated labeling the data in the map clicking here the contour and label you can change the size of the label clicking apply and ok now these labels show you that how much the contour value is contour line value is elevation line uh, you can use the same procedure uh, for environmental purposes like precipitation temperature and for the water groundwater qualities etc uh, this is the map of Bulu Now just creating it to the main uh, for the, uh, changing the layout of the map for the printing purpose. Adjusting the image and the page for good look. We will finally create a map in this format which can be stored as uh, JPEG format, PDF format or any other format. Uh, which is provided here in arc gis ok next we can change legend color here the legends have been defined the legend shows the map properties that what have been uh, uh, added to the map so the legend show uh, uh, anything in the map like that may be the rows uh, the sorry the line point polygon uh, wells points etc now adding the title so as you can see that I have generated the contours of Bolu Turku Turkey You can add any of uh, the north arrow sign, okay. And that scale bar, depending upon the choice, uh, you can add any of the uh, scale.
I'm changing the units to the kilometers and clicking apply and OK. OK. Now this scale show me uh, the unit kilometers. Coming towards the file and clicking export map, uh, you can see that the export map option has been opened. I'm just giving the name and uh, the format here is PNG. Clicking save. Now the image has been created in the file and the format of PNG format.